Hello everyone, this is Red Samurai 13 and today we're doing a little something different as you might notice. I've been promising you guys two new Let's Plays, so this is the first of the new Let's Plays, Don't Starve. Now, I've chosen this game for a Let's Play for two reasons. First off, it's a in a beta build, it's a really good game, and they're constantly updating, so any publicity that this game can get to help show it off is good publicity that'll help it. And it's, like I said, it's a really good game. I'd love to see it come to fruition. And while I cannot help donate, besides what buying the game, I could help show it off a bit through video. So the second reason is it's a very rare and long lost genre. It's a realistic survival scenario. This means that it doesn't mean that you're realistically playing, as in, oh, look at the graphics, they look real. It means that you're managing your food, your time, resources, you're picking your battles, you're doing everything to survive in a realistic fashion. You know, you've got eat each day, or else you'll die. And you've got to hunker down at night and keep in a well lit area, or you'll get attacked and die. You know, it's a good scenario of survival. It's a very rare genre to play anymore. And I'm glad to see somebody brought it back. So, let's begin. Ready to play? How long will you survive? Yeah, say, pal, you don't look so good. You better find something to eat before the night comes. <laughs> Oh, Maxwell, I've seen you too many times today. So, we play as a young scientist named Wilson. They are other characters. Unfortunately, I do not know how to unlock them yet. And we'll work on that later. So, first thing we're going to be focusing on is survival, uh, survivability of the nighttime. Which means we need twigs, a uh, twig and flint to make an axe so we can get logs so we can have make a fire tonight yeah, a lot of people compare this to Minecraft uh, I can't say I feel the same in the, with Minecraft it's all about building and mining and building it ain't really about the survival so this this is in a genre all of its own in my opinion but you can't punch down trees. You have to actually use picks to break things, trees to knock there, knock trees to knock down axes, <laughs> axes to knock down trees. You've really got to work. So let's see here. We've got enough grass and logs for our fire tonight. Second thing I'm going to prioritize on is a backpack. We need one of those to help with our inventory. So let's get the grass here. A backpack is three grass, four twig. It automatically equips and gives you eight inventory slots. Now this is quite nice. Uh, there's no denying that. But there is a catch. You, if you want to wear any type of armor besides head or head armor you have to unequip the backpack and it does not go into your inventory so you have to decide which is more important when it comes to armor or when it comes to your inventory so let's see here alright something else we're going to be trying to get focus on besides our fire okay we already got the pick so we're, we're good on that a pick is two twigs, two flint, and of course what a pick does is help you mine things. So I'm going to quickly take a look at the map here, see if I've got found any rocks by accident. Uh, doesn't look like it. So uh, while I'm thinking about guys, map is a simple tab. If you look here on the screen, you'll see there's bushes for the berries, twigs for the saplings, grass for the grass, 
Then we have a bee's nest up here. And then that white cocoon we saw, I uh, didn't mention it unfortunately, is a spider's nest. In the sunset, they start spawning. At night, they're full force. They will attack. Bees will spawn bees, of course. Wherever you get near them, or if you attack it, or I guess I should say, if you attack the beehive, they'll spawn during the day. If you attack them, or the spiders, they will spawn and attack regardless of time of day so it could be middle of the night attack the beehive and hey you got bees coming after you middle of the day for spiders you got spiders coming after you so unfortunately I wish I could say that I was doing this as a noob as originally intended Unfortunate, uh, as I said, unfortunately I can't do that because I started recording Fraps and Don't Starve to not get alone. It is, oh man, it, it's like cats and dogs, you know, the, the old saying of cats and dogs where they fight constantly. So I'm just kind of hoping that it runs on through, doesn't screw up on me this time. But yeah, because of that, I had done 15 days, found out that Fraps had crashed, and didn't record any of my sessions. Oh, bad times were ahead for Fraps. <laughs> so I'm having to redo this. This makes the fourth time. Unfortunately, the first couple of times, can I know? First, the first time everything crashed, and then the second, third time there were mess ups on my part. So, yeah. Let's see here. Why am I okay? Uh, something else while I'm thinking about, it, guys. Another priority of things you should be doing is getting food. Uh, this means morsels from killing rabbits, uh, seeds from scaring off birds, berries from trees. Now, it may not sound all that important, but when you get down low on health, everything is important. So, I'm just going to set up a simple fire right up here tonight. Actually, uh, I'm going to break up this one down here first. Now, we need the rocks. We need the rocks, the gold, and the flint that these things give you. And I'll explain why here in just a second. Now, let me go ahead and get these other two. Uh-oh. Mr. Spider... How close am I to your base? I shouldn't be close enough. Oh well, as long as you leave me alone, and I'll leave you alone. Okay, let's get this one, and then I'll begin explaining. Alright, here's the deep dark coming in. If this fire wasn't here, I would literally be two-shotted, if not one-shotted. The uh, reason behind that, there's something out in the darkness stalking people, uh, stalking you. If you step out into it, you wait till say it's so dark, you'll hear a growl. I'll say, what is that? He'll get attacked, scream his bit. If you wait a few seconds longer, it'll kill you. It doesn't ever show what it is, so there's no clue. Alright, now here's what I was saying about food. I, I know I meant to explain rocks, and I will in a second, guys. I'm just trying to get some more important things out of the way. As you look over here, your food's constantly going down on this ye little yellow bar. And uh, so is my fire right now. <laughs> Hold on just a second. Your food is constantly going down. And if it goes down to zero, you start dying or you die. I don't know, I haven't let you get to zero before. Same with your HP. 
I have seen it go down to zero on your hearts and you be able to survive until you get food but if you take a hit on zero you will die so stay up there little spotter now while we was talking about that cooking food means if you cook it it's better for you you eat it it restores more of your hunger now you can cook many foods uh, berries, carrots, seeds, um, morsels seem to be the most easiest, there seems to be the easiest to get. I always move my food over into the backpack. Uh, petals as well. Uh, you can't cook petals, but you can eat them. They're actually very good to have on hand where you need a quick boost in health. So each petal will give you 1 HP, and while 1 HP doesn't sound like much, it actually adds up and helps. So, alright. Now I guess I should start explaining the uh, <laughs> rocks. <laughs> rocks are used in well two important things for me one the fire pit which is 12 rocks and a lot uh, two logs it's a I guess you'd say a base fire pit once you've created it only thing you have to do is throw something flammable on it to set a fire it's good for that and it's good for this the science machine science machine is a gold nugget four log four rocks and you, you actually need the science machine to study and actually make new projects and I, I'll get a bit in on that in here in just a bit uh, let me go ahead and finish mining here uh, so. alright we got 20 Probably good to set up a base right in here. I'm close to the rabbit place. Uh, they seem to be quite a r lot of rocks in here. It's uh, not the area I prefer to set up in. In my last playthrough, I had a nice little area. I went through a swamp, then I found a huge forest, which past the forest was a hills area. Rocks everywhere. So I had all my had all my wood right there in the forest. I had plenty of rocks up there. It was a great place to be at. So we're gonna set base right down here. As you can see, there are bees flying around and everything. Uh, I'll put out the light later tonight. Right now I need what wood. So back to the axe. Let's chop down a tree. We'll need a couple of trees. Alright. So, wood's always going to be a necessary thing. It's useful for items, it's useful for keeping your fires going. So, you want to keep a hold of it. Now, the pine cones that drop from these trees they can be used to plant new trees that will grow, grow into bigger ones so it's a renewable resource and they change strangely it doesn't seem like they have any particular growth pattern at least none that I can actually clearly notice yet so I can't tell you that holy crap I'm sitting in <laughs> spider alley ain't I We'll be setting up here. All right, we're going to build the science machine. There's that. So, what the science? Uh, let me eat real quick. Yeah, uh, on that. There we go. Fill up. Don't you dare run away, rabbit! I need you. 
so let's see here let's go over here kill the rabbit I'll get meat from that alright so now that that rabbit's done scientific science machine breaks down objects into their scientific components and what that means is let's see now what's can I waste here I'll waste a pedal if I put a pedal into it and I research it it gives me so much research points these research points can be used for things such as the hammer the razor the bug net fishing rod things like this particularly favorites their particular favorites log suits and spears for defense <laughs> as I said it requires you to put in to get things out of it okay I'm gonna go ahead and make the fire pit since this is gonna be my base area that might be a bad idea for me making a base right here At any rate, so what we really need to get some great research material quickly is we need some of these saplings, we need some of these bushes, and we'll get some of these real quick and then we'll go through and get everything set up. So, uh, let's see, I need one more. Alright, that should be good. So let's see here, we got four saplings. Let's research them. Each sapling is 20 research. Same for the berry bush. So, I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of pun cones here fire back up uh, while I'm thinking about I'm sorry if it's kind of dark when it turns nighttime guys I have no control over the light on this it's just part of the game so if it comes out dark again I'm sorry I'll try to keep it as light as I can so let's see here what were we doing oh yeah we was looking at research so some of the first things that we want to get when we're researching this right here, the alchemy engine. Unfortunately, at this time, I can't get it because it's 200. So, next thing we want to get, spear. But, to get the spear, we need rope. So, we need to research rope first for safe measurement. Okay, rope is 30. There we go. It's simple as clicking on what you need. So, we got that. That leaves us with 70. Uh, uh, hammer and razor. I'll go ahead and unlock these two. So, there's that. Something else I want to unlock, I'll have to wait until it gets day to start getting some more, is I want to unlock the wood, or the boards, so I can make a chest. Now, as you might already guess, a chest does just what it says. It stores things in it. So, uh, oh wow, I forgot to cook my food. Alright, there's that. And as I was stating about this fireplace, it'll still be here once the fire goes out. So what I got to do is drop a pine cone or two on it, and we're good to go. So, yeah, I know I'm deforesting this place some of materials I'll need, but I really need them right now for more, um, should we say more handy purposes. So we're going to go ahead and dig these up, get us plenty of research. I 
this way once we have everything researched we can get going on some better things so right now guys I don't have many I guess you'd say many goals in this game uh, my biggest goal right now is not to die so yeah that, that's my biggest goal after that I'm wanting to set up some type of farm I noticed you can replant saplings and berry bushes whether you gotta do anything special to get them to grow after that I'm not sure but I won't try to set up some farms with them so we'll work with that carrots already dropped okay Garrett Flint yeah, thinking about that is another problem with the storage um, as I said stated you have to be careful with what you do they get because look storage 10 saplings you get 10 saplings bushes and tufts in a stack. Any more than that, you're just wasting space. So let's see here. That's good there. Oh man, I need to eat bad, don't I? That helped. Uh, let's keep digging and we might find some more food as we go. Oop, not that one. So let's see, I've got four more of these and then eight berry bushes. My morsel. Now we just got berry bushes. We can pick up some carrots too. <laughs> Man, these spiders everywhere are here. Jesus, man. Berry bush, berry bush. At least there's plenty of flint laying around, but I need more things to toss into the machine. Ooh. Morsel. Uh, okay, I could put berries with the berries. Didn't notice that. Um, hmm. Oh crap. <laughs> carrots. Okay, so I've got two stacks of carrots. That's good. Let's go over here, dig up this other one, then head on home. So that was a good haul. Uh, ooh, wait, there's one more. That gives us, what, 10, 30, uh, 10, 20, 30, 36 items to put down into the thing. 36 times 2, 720. Like I said, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, Pine cones. That's right, you better run. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Hello? 
sure I made a mistake. Oh. Oh no. No, no, no. Well, guys, there's episode one. Ah. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. <laughs> we'll be back in the next episode.